Updating your home on a budget? That's what I'm talking about today, and I'm starting right now. Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. I'm Angela O'Hare, your favorite Las Vegas realtor. And welcome to my seller series. And in this series, I try to give you tips and tricks of how to sell your house, why to sell your house, and all that good stuff. So today, I'm gonna to be talking about how you can update your home on a budget without spending a lot of money say you want to put your home on the market but it is a little outdated so i'm going to give you some advice on tips and tricks of what you can do to make your home look updated and ready to sell so i have seven ways that can make a big impact on your home and the first one is to actually repaint the inside of your home a lot of my clients ask is it worth it and in my honest opinion I think it is 100% worth it, especially if your home is tired, there's lots of dirt, fingerprints, the colors are just off the wall and every room has a different color. It would be worth the investment if you either hired a professional to paint every room, all one color throughout the entire house, or you could do it yourself. I helped out a friend, his name is Joey, and his home was the old mustard color, yellow, very outdated, and we painted the whole house in a nice light gray, and it's amazing the world of difference a fresh coat of paint does. A lot of agents say no, people will paint it anyway, but in my opinion, I think it helps sell the house a lot faster. Number two is change out the light fixtures. If you have an older home, especially in the 90s, a lot of them have those old brass or gold light fixtures. Um, one way to make your home look updated is change out the light fixtures, change out the old looking fans. Um, what's popular right now is pendant lighting, the Edison light bulbs, anything in the, like the black matte material. That will make your home look 100% better. Number three, Update your hardware. What I mean by updating your hardware, um, for example, in your kitchen, I just recently did it and I'm gonna show pictures of it. I had the silver hardware, which was old school looking, very traditional. Um, and then I went to Wayfair and bought a bunch of the three inch pools and it made a world of difference on the look of my kitchen. And then what I did next was all the light fixtures and switches. Um, they're all worth the standard builder white I went to Lowe's, spent like maybe 78 cents on each of these fixtures and changed out all the white light fixtures and switches to black. And it makes it look very modern, very updated and very clean. And then I also went in my bathrooms and changed out the mirrors to black. You know, updating a kitchen on a budget is kind of crazy and you don't have to get new cabinets or new countertops. By changing the look of your kitchen is by adding these nice, awesome black pools, um, maybe even reface the cabinets, which we're gonna talk about in a minute. But the one way to update that kitchen is to add new accessories, new pools, new knobs, all that. Number four, improving your old kitchen cabinets. A lot of times, especially if your home was built in the 90s, these cabinets are the old oak. A lot of buyers, when they go and look at these homes, they're like, eh, it's old oak. So one way to update your kitchen cabinets without spending a lot of money or buying new cabinets is to have them professionally painted. And the hot color right now is white. For some reason, everyone loves white cabinets. With those black pools I mentioned earlier, it would make your kitchen look sharp. I mean, 100% better. Like my kitchen has the original cabinets in it and when I bought it, um, they had painted them white. Whoever did it did a very good job, looks very professional. I mean, obviously one day I would like to update my kitchen cabinets to the Shaker style cabinets, but if you're on a budget, one way to do so is to have them professionally painted. I mean, you can probably paint them yourselves, but you want them to look good, right? 
Number five, refacing your appliances. You know, sometimes you may have the old white appliances that look grungy or the yellow 1950s um, refrigerator <laughs> or the um, puke green refrigerator, puke green appliances. Hopefully that you don't have older appliances, but if you do, there's this thing called refacing those appliances. And I think if you go on Wayfair, which is my favorite store, um, you can uh, search there's like peel and stick type things that can reface your appliances to make it look a little more updated. Number six, update your faucets. It's amazing how much of a difference your faucets will look by changing all of them out. Your bathroom faucets, your kitchen faucets. Um, some of you may still have those old 90s gold faucets or even silver or chrome uh, or nickel or whatever it is. Right now, the biggest trend is black matte so my goal in my house is to eventually change out all of my faucets in my bathrooms and kitchen because i think it just looks super sharp super modern updated it just looks very clean and i will share once i finally get that project done again these are just tips and tricks that you could do to update your home on a budget not spending a lot of money getting it ready to sell or if you just want to update on a budget and you're not selling and you want to just feel good about living in your home these are great tips and last but not least is an outdated fireplace you know fireplaces can be focal points of some people's homes you know we do live in a desert however a lot of these homes have fireplaces so what you could do is also buy peel and stick tiles again at wayfair i love my wayfair um, that you can place over the fireplace or you can just paint the fireplace but you want to paint it in neutral colors like white gray or black so these upgrades may seem minor but when they're done properly it's amazing how much of an impact it has on your home and if you're considering doing extensive updates to your home let's get together and talk and see what updates will get the most bang for your buck let me know in the comments what you think of the seller series uh, my goal is just to educate you on the best way to get the most money for selling your home here in Las Vegas. As always, if you like this video, hit that thumbs up button, leave a comment down below, share with a friend, and consider subscribing to my channel if you're interested in learning everything and anything about Las Vegas, about home buying, and about home selling. Thank you so much for watching today. I'll see you guys on the next one.